Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Situationist Day Vlog. Are you ready to start with your digital marketing strategy for your brand or business? Is this the right time? Are you fully prepared to get people coming to your website, checking it out, coming to your social media pages, interacting with it? Is it the right time? How do you even know that you're ready for all this? So when you look at all these questions, there is one thing that most of us miss out. As businesses, we kind of tend to focus on our product or service. We think that that is what customers are coming here for and we can deliver it and bam, that's it. But right now in this digital age, that is not it anymore. Maybe in the times of mad men and advertising, that was the case. That was a different kind of marketing strategy and advertising strategies that we used to use back then. It was more of a product and service centric kind of time. But still, if you see the amount of time Don Draper used to spend thinking how this campaign or this pitch would affect the end consumer, you would see that that has always been there. The consumer focus has just been increasing all over these years. And now it is at its peak and it is going to stay there for a very long time now. Today, we are going to talk about why it is important to get your content marketing in place before you start with your digital marketing services. So what happens when you do not have a content marketing strategy in place and you start with digital marketing? Unlike content marketing, which is more of a pull marketing, digital marketing is more of a push marketing. You basically use advertisement on various social media channels, on Google, and you aim to attract your customers in a way by showing your products and services. But there are two things to it. What if your target consumer does not need your service at that point of time? Are they bookmarking your ads? Are they commenting on it, sharing it? What are they doing? What are the action steps when they see the ad on their Facebook or Instagram feed? And for example, they do like your ad and they do want to check out your product. But in today's age, when customers heavily rely on reviews and how the brand is presenting themselves out into the world through their website, through their social media platforms, there's a high chance they would just go ahead and check out your social media platform and your website. Are they optimized to handle these views? Are your social media platforms for example, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, at that level where they go and see, okay, these guys are active. It is not that, you know, they made a random post maybe a week back and uh, there is no engagement. There are no replies to people who have commented on their post and it's almost like a ghost, uh, you know, profile. And even if they are liking that particular ad and they're heading over to your social media platforms, for example, your Facebook feed, if they saw your ad on their Facebook feed uh, or Instagram or LinkedIn, what do they see over there? Are they seeing more meaningful posts about your product and how it can help them? So that is basically somebody coming to your store because they saw an advertisement, but they are getting like really good feedback. They're getting to see how to use your product, how it can benefit them, and then they make that purchase. And if it is not there, if your social media platforms or your website are not optimized to help them make that decision at that split second, you're losing a customer. So it is almost like once again, somebody is looking at your advertisement, they're getting really interested in your product or service, so they go to your store, but the salesperson there or the store is not impressive enough, they do not get enough information on your product or service, so they end up leaving. That is lost business. And that is the reason why you need to optimize your social media platforms, those handles and your website to the maximum amount possible with really good 
relatable and consistent content. This is how you create brand awareness about your product. This is how you create thought leadership in your industry by showing that you're not just selling a product or service, but you know it through and through. You know how it can benefit your target audience and you want to deliver that benefit to them. You're not in this just for business, you are in it to make a change. If your social media or your website is not communicating this to your target audience right now, there is something missing and you should definitely consider that before you jump on to digital marketing. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions regarding this, please do let me know in the comments. Please do like, comment and share on this post so that it reaches more eyeballs and more people get to know about this. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you get regular updates to my vlogs. Until next time, take care, stay safe. Bye bye.